Let's talk with Alex Bucket about the forecast and our weather this morning. How are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty good. How are y'all doing? I'm good. Yep, so far, so good. Thanks I mean, for asking. Yeah, appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Feeling good, feeling good. A little cold this morning when I stepped outside, and, and that's going to be the case for you too, most likely. Uh, temperatures below freezing to start the day. It's a live view from Lincoln at Talladega Super Speedway. A little bit northwest of here, we have seen some fog set up. Uh, looking okay there in Lincoln, but uh, the visibility in Pell City down to a quarter mile and parts of St. Clair County have, have seen a little bit of patchy, dense fog set up. This is where it's set up Monday too, uh, but uh, fog down uh, from Pell City back towards Odenville. Uh, some dense fog is set up there. Also seeing some fog that's set up near Demopolis there on the Tom Bigby River. That's where we're likely to see visibility issues this morning if we see any significant ones. It's going to be on rivers and lakes. Temperature setting in the 20s and 30s to start the day today. Birmingham, the only spot above freezing right now, and I do expect this to dip to 32 or below a little bit later on this morning. But we rebound as we head into the afternoon. Those temperatures climbing up near 60 as we head into the middle of the day today. It will be chilly tonight, but not as cold as it is this morning. We'll stay above freezing to start your Friday and the weather looking really nice over the next few days. Again, we make it into the 60s this afternoon. Lots of sunshine, just gorgeous weather in store for us today. A few clouds as we head through this evening and tonight, but no rain as we head into Friday morning, starting out cool, but We'll warm up into the mid 60s, maybe even a few upper 60s for both your Friday and Saturday. Really nice dry weather on the way as we head through today, tomorrow and Saturday. But here comes that next weather maker. More rain on the way as we head into the start of next week. All told rainfall totals Sunday into Monday, ranging anywhere from around a half inch towards the Tennessee Valley. Three quarters of an inch to an inch for central Alabama. And then South Alabama, where we're likely to see some of those heavier rainfall totals closer to an inch and a half or so. And again, this rain falling Sunday into Monday. So let's go to the future cast and talk about this. We're dry through Saturday night, but uh, pre sunrise Sunday morning. Here comes some rain across the state of Alabama. No severe weather, no flooding with this, just some good soaking rain as we head through the day Sunday, lingering showers into Monday, especially in the morning before we dry out as we head into Monday evening. So for your weekend, Saturday's gorgeous, mid 60s, lots of sunshine, just fantastic weather, but Sunday, cool, rainy, that's going to be the day that you're not going to necessarily want to have those outdoor plans with all that rain out there. But the weather will be fine through Saturday night. We've got uh, the Bulls game at 7 p.m. in Pelham, the Wiener Dog Race. You can see the CPS 42 weather alert unit out there, weather looking perfectly fine for that Saturday night, but the rain moves in Sunday into Monday, then we dry out for the middle of next week. Kristen.